I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. The games teams at Google announced the return of the Google for Games Developer Summit on July 12th and 13th, where you'll get to hear from experts across Google about new solutions we're building to make it easier for you to create great games, connect with players, and scale your business. Register for the free online event using the link in the description and you'll get more information in the coming weeks. Submissions are now open for the Indie Games Accelerator and Indie Games Festival from Google Play. The Accelerator is a three-month program with free education and mentorship from top industry experts for indie game studios that are about to launch or have recently launched a new game. The Indie Games Festival is a place to submit a recently launched game that's ready for the spotlight, where you get a chance to get featured on Google Play along with promotions and other prizes. Apply for either program by July 1st using the link in the description. We announced the addition of Singapore as our third Firebase real-time database location. We encourage any Firebase developer with a large user base in Asia to consider using this new location to reduce latency. All three locations, the United States, Belgium, and Singapore are generally available and ready for your production data today. So you can either log into the Firebase console to create a database in Singapore or check out the documentation to learn how to use our APIs to provision databases programmatically. We announced new cloud TPU VMs, making it easier than ever to use our TPU hardware by providing direct access to TPU host machines. Cloud TPU VMs let you set up your own interactive development environment on each host machine, allowing you to write and debug an ML model line by line on a single TPU VM and scale up to a cloud TPU pod slice, taking advantage of the super fast TPU interconnect. You have root access, can use local storage, and can execute custom code in your input pipelines to easily integrate cloud TPUs into your research and production workflows. You can get up and running quickly and start training ML models using JAX, PyTorch, and TensorFlow, using cloud TPUs and cloud TPU pods in any of our available regions. Check out the post for lots more on cloud TPU VMs. In Chrome 91, Web apps that interact with files can now suggest file names and directories when using the File System Access API, and you can read files from the clipboard. Also in Chrome 91, if your site has multiple domains and they share the same account management backend, you can tell Chrome they're the same, allowing the password manager to suggest the right credentials. WebAssembly SIMD has finished its origin trial and is available to all users. The refreshed form elements have finally landed on Android, improving the user experience and much more. Check out the post and all of the I.O. videos for more on Chrome 91. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Now for something silly.